presentation with this club. Um, so tonight's theme is favorite books. Let me ask you a question. How did you come to the Toastmasters meeting tonight? Yes, who have just come in. Uh, my name is Sharon. I'm the Vice President of Education uh, for this uh, Toastmasters Club. Thank you for coming. Um, tonight, um, you may see from your agenda that our theme is favorite books. Um, I was just asked, posing a question to our members here. How did you come to the Toastmasters Club tonight? Perhaps you were here uh, taking a bus, or a train, or maybe a ferry. What were you doing while you were riding the bus or a train? Were you reading a book? I think likely you were probably fiddling on your iPhone and using an app or reading the newspaper on, uh, for today via your electronic device. Facebook. Facebook, exactly, as well. Not a real book, but Facebook, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, books seem so old-fashioned and um, from the bygone era nowadays. However, you might remember how when you were younger, you had a book that you really enjoyed and which taught you lessons that you still remember. Tonight, I hope that through the speeches and through table topics, you will gain um, a renewed appreciation and understanding of the wonderful world of books. Now, I'd like to invite our facilitators for tonight to introduce their roles and also how they're going to uh, facilitate, facilitate the meeting. I'd like to invite Terence to come up to introduce the language evaluator role. The next speaker, um, he's sitting among us. You may not know him, especially those who are visitors to our club, but he is one of my classmates. And I can tell you that he is a, like he's a combination of many interesting facets and um, uh, roles. He's a very sporty athlete. He's a triathlon. He's an engineer at the same time. I think he wants to be a model as well. <laughs> <laughs> right here in front of us, we have a Renaissance man delivering a speech about Renaissance men. Kevin. <laughs> Um, next up, um, we know that we've mentioned how technology has completely revolutionized the way we read. You perhaps used to have a favorite book that you keep in the paperback next to your bed. But right now, we, you probably have a favorite app or favorite news, online newspaper. Um, technology is really important to us, and the next speaker has a very interesting uh, 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 take on technology. Um, that he would like to share with us. So I'd like to welcome Jeffrey to share with us head in the class. All right, so thank you everyone for um, giving feedback for, to Jeff. Um, there's a book, a very famous book in the marketplace that I'm sure at least majority, the majority of you have heard of. It's not a fairy tale book. <laughs> However, it's a tool book. And in fact, one of our very seasoned Toastmasters, Terrence, talked about it last week. Do any of you remember, remember what book it is? Oh no, Terrence. <laughs> <laughs> Seven <laughs> Habits. Exactly. It's, thank you, Terry. It's the Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. I mean, talking about habits, um, I don't know how many of these effective habits you possess, but um, we are all a summation of habits no matter whether they're good or bad. Our next speaker is going to talk to us about habits that drive you in life. Uh, let's welcome Alan. Thank you. 